we work in translation and interpretation, fantastic. We struggled on the media piece as there's not a lot of news associated with it. Do you have any insight in that area? So if you think about that, we're talking about translation services. So we know that there are providers of that. So I would say uh, transition, uh, translation service provider, provider list. Let's see what that does. So I can scroll down and I can see top 10 best, top translation companies from good firms, top 60. So now this, this starts my list of competitors, but when I get to media, then I'm going to say, okay, so what are these people, what are people that are doing association, if I can spell right, what do these people read themselves, the people that are in this business? Well, it looks like there's an American Translators Association, so that's interesting, and they might have a publication. Here's a whole list of them on Wikipedia. Oops. Here's a whole list of them on Wikipedia. There's an international association. So I'm going to start making lists of these translation companies. Keep in mind that what we just found was a list of websites, which is media as well. So we know that now there are the ata.net.org ATA ranks here. So that's kind of an interesting media asset. Wikipedia, we're not likely to be able to buy. We might be able to acquire International Association of Professional Translators. This looks like it is a school that's providing a link. So now I've got a school that I can look at and other schools. So then what else might I look at? Let's look at translation industry news. Great. So there's this company called Slater. There's industry news from a company called Multilingual, et cetera, et cetera. So now I've got news sources. There's a lot of things that, so now we've got associations and we've got news. Now, what about translation industry group? Let's see if there's anything that comes up. Translation industry. Okay. We get some of the duplication. Here's some trends for 2020. So I definitely check that out. And now this trend provider from Tometis, I don't know what that is, but it's, it's a service that is obviously looking at translation trends. So that would be their customers are going to be, if you're looking to acquire a translation company would be this. If you're looking for people who are wanting to learn so that you can get media for getting more people and leads into the company, then I'd probably say, I'd probably go by not as general as language learning. Let's see if there's a language learning Facebook group. So 10 Facebook language learning ideas. That's not good. There's Facebook and groups for language learners on Reddit, right? So here's a Reddit that's got a list of Facebook groups and pages, which is media for language learners. Now we might get more specific and say French. If I can, I just am not typing, typing too fast. Learn French language group, Facebook, French learners group, Facebook, etc. right? So I can look there. I can then also go on Facebook itself. And I can say, assuming it lets me log in. Ah, okay. That's not going to let me do it right now. I have to uh, go through that process. So I won't do that, but I, I would go on Facebook itself and, and I would just put in the, in the search, you'll, you'll see there, you can search for pages and groups. And I would say each different language that people want to learn group there. So then we would go to back to Google for podcasts. To go to, there's all kinds of learning podcasts, but also podcasts about translation services, anything like that. Seven translation and localization podcasts worth checking out, right? So now I'm starting to find all this eight, eight great podcasts for interpreters and lovers of language. Okay, well, great. 35 translation and interpretation podcasts. So now I've got not just services, I've got interpreters. So I could do podcasts about that, but I'm going to go back and say, 
Facebook groups for interpreters, all right? And there's all kinds of them, right? And then I could do I could do the same thing. I can say YouTube channels for interpreters. There's a whole bunch of them. So, right. So I, I hope that makes sense. There's a million places. You just have to get a little creative as you're going through it. But just in that quick few minutes, we found a whole bunch of resources. So that's what you want to do. And that's why on the sheet that we created for you, and Deanna was kind enough to get it converted for us to Google Sheets, there's all of these lists of things. So Google is your friend. Facebook is your friend. YouTube, the second largest search engine in the world right now, is your friend. Yandex, DuckDuckGo. You know, I just go through and hit all of those. Look on social media, look on LinkedIn, look on Pinterest, look on everywhere to find that those are all media. So, and they're all media that you can acquire. So hopefully that helps. I, I took the time to do it because this applies to everybody, right? Not just to somebody that's looking for interpreters, translation, media, et cetera. Uh -huh.